Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have another headband wig to show you guys and this one is from her giving hair too. The last wig I showed you guys was from her giving hair and guys I've been wearing that wig back to back you guys saw. I'll also have that video linked in the description box. But let's get into the packaging. I like how they always package their things nicely. They deliver to Nigeria via FedEx. Everything comes to you intact. Inside the box, the first thing I found was a satin pouch and you can use this to store your wig when you're not wearing it. They put in a band for me. This is the tube kind. This, you guys will see me wearing this, but I like how convenient this is and the fact that it doesn't give you a headache when you use it. Also included a satin scarf. I really like the print on this and I think it goes really well with my top, but I'm not really a very big fan of like scarves. But if this is your thing, then there's this as well. And inside the box, you get like an instruction manual, a card that gives you the wig specification, some extra combs if you like. And guys, here is the wig, okay? This texture is their kinky blowout, guys. It just looks like relaxed hair. And the color is the exact color as my hair. I got this in the natural color. At the back, just at the end of the band, you get a Velcro, just two Velcro straps that just kind of hold the band together, which I think is really cool. But this is also very strong Velcro because guys, like this thing stays put. You get about four combs underneath the wig, two at the sides and one in the front and one at the back. The tracks are also machine made wefts, so they're very neat and not bulky at all. So at this point, I'm just trying the wig on to make sure that it fits very, very well, that it sits on my head nicely and that it is my size. And I confirmed all of that. I just kind of played around with it a little bit. But guys, headband wigs are the ish for me, okay? There's no pressure whatsoever on your edges. My edges have been able to just take a break and grow back since I started using these heavily. I really, really love them. You can put this over your ears or you can put it behind your ears, but I tried it out, out sorry, behind my ears and i like the way that it fits so i'm going to show you guys how to wear this three different ways but the first way is going to be me i'm just kind of covering or concealing the band which i think is also very cool so i'm just patting out the front and this front is going to cover the band i'm just making sure that i remove enough hair to cover the band and i'm going to cover the rest of it the part that i'm not going to leave out with a wig cap and then put the wig on my head because when you do this the sizing of the wig changes a little bit because it just it now has smaller space than your actual head space to sit on i did a couple of things to secure it first i folded the band and then i also used pins to Hold it on the two sides this is very 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 important and it'll just give you extra security with this okay after that i'm going to go on ahead and straighten the wig now this wig was so easy this kinky blowout texture was so easy for me to straighten like i just you guys can see i'm also not doing this in a very meticulous way i just kind of run my straightener through some areas and then i put my hands or run my hands through like it's before you know it you've also straight so it's not a difficult wig to straighten and once you're done straightening it holds shape um activities will not make it bend or stay or just like you know sometimes when you wear a wig and then you do something maybe you lie down the wig changes shape that's not what you're going to get with this so i just take my time and straighten it out and before you know it i am done So after using the big straightener, or once I'm done using the big straightener, I went in with a smaller straightener and I used this to straighten my own natural hair. I'm also not trying to make things super duper straight at this step. I just want a very good blend. And a lot of the time what I was doing was I was straightening my own hair together with the wig to make sure that it just kind of blends in thoroughly, like really, really well. And I had a very good blend after this. I'm going to apply some gel to just, just kind of smooth things out because I have quite a good of a, a good amount, quite a good amount of new growth. So I'm not applying enough gel to sleek things down. I'm just applying enough gel to smooth things out at this point. I'm also not going to be tying down, but after applying the gel, I just smooth in with a soft brush. 
and that's essentially it okay i got a very very good blend with this you guys can see this just looks like my hair like my hair my relaxed hair is full and i kind of tucked it behind my ears after that this is the second way that i like to wear this with the tube headband that i showed you guys earlier so this is how this headband works you put it over your head, bring it down to your neck, and then you drag it back up. This gives the illusion that you have a band on or that you've tied a scarf, okay? The good thing about this is that you're able to mimic like pleats that you would get with scarves with this particular band. But without the pressure that you would get with a scarf, it's not tight. I like to put this, you know, you guys know that I have some new piercing like in my ears and this is able to sit on that ear without making the ear hurt, right? You can add pleats if you want you can tweak it around you can do so many things with this particular band i really 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 like it so after i've gotten like the band the way that i want it to this is what this looks like i also really really like this i like it a lot okay and after this i'm going to take the band off and then show you guys how to wear this wig the normal way so just taking out the pins okay and once i take the pins out i remove the wig and what i'm going to do is at this point now apply enough gel to slick my edges down this is the ebon or ebon edge control that i am using so i apply enough gel and i take my time i go in with a soft brush and i brush everything back okay this is going to help everything stay in place and it's also going to give me a more lasting hold i'm also going to tie this down So when I actually wear this as a headband wig without leaving out my hair in front, this is what I do, okay? So once I've slicked down and once my hair just kind of looks the way that I want it to, I'm going to tie down with a hose. I love to use a panty hose like I've just cut up to tie down. It gives me like, it just gives the edge control like longer hold when you do this, okay? So once I've tied down, I'm going to put a wig cap over the rest of my hair and let this stay for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you guys are going to see that I'll have very good hold. I love, 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 love the overall look. Look at that. I love it. You see that it's not very straight. So there's slight waves in the hair texture and there's slight waves in my hair too. But guys, this is what this hair looks like installed the right way. Guys, I love wearing it like this. This is actually my favorite, preferred way to wear this wig. I really, 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 guys, love this, okay? I'm going to leave all the other information that you guys are going to need in the description box. But guys, look at this view. Every information will be at the description box. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one.